famotidine, just hearing that D-I-N-E, you should have an understanding that these are H2 antagonist or histamine 2 antagonist or histamine 2 blockers. Okay. Famotidine, like we just said, is a histamine 2 antagonist sold by the trade name Pepsid. And what these do is they actually block the action of histamine at the H2 receptors within the stomach at the parietal cells. Okay, so this decreases the production of gastric acid. So these are oftentimes used for conditions like dyspepsia, peptic, ul peptic ulcer disease, or GERD. And they can also be used for the prevention of GI bleeding in critically ill patients. So a lot of times with patients in the ICU or there for a long term, these patients will be started on H2 antagonists. It can also be used for the treatment of heartburn uh, and, and indigestion. So if your patient uh, has symptoms of heartburn, they may go to the physician. And, and it's really important though to keep in mind here that you should really assess your patient's heartburn and chest pain because some patients can misdiagnose the the chest pain and, and instead of being heartburn it can actually be angina so really important to assess that very closely before you just start them on a uh, proton pump inhibitor and h2 antagonist some things to keep in mind and to teach your patient are that it's important for the patient to increase their fluid and fiber, fiber intake in order to prevent constipation. We also want to assess for any abdominal pain or any occult blood. And we want to, want to monitor their CBC because this can lead to aplastic anemia and agranulocytosis. So really important to monitor that CBC to ensure that we're not having this side effect. H2 antagonist and famotidine also can lead to uh, arrhythmia. So it would be important to uh, check your patient's EKG prior to starting it, check it once they're on it, and to see if there's been any changes in their EKG. There is some evidence that proton pump inhibitors might be more effective in preventing gastric bleeding in patients that are critically ill. So what you will see a lot of times, and it will really depend on the hospital you're at and the physicians on the floor, but a lot of times you will see protonics and other PPIs, proton pump inhibitors, being used more than H2 receptor antagonists. But regardless of that, it's important to keep in mind that DINE, cimetidine, remetidine, famotidine, these are all H2 antagonist, okay, this D-I-N-E suffix, and they're used a lot for GERD, indigestion, prevention of gastric bleeding, and just an important medication for these patients. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. That's NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at nrsng.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.